Hey guys, a quick clip of me doing a tier 8.2 map, so enjoy. <laughs> Great start. Getting two bosses at the start is always awesome. I'm curious if I can actually do this. I mean, I'm still regenerating ES, and it's insane. How how am I regenerating ES? Wow, that was insane. So I've made a few upgrades. I crafted I've crafted uh, two rings today actually. So I have new rings. I've changed the skills around a bit, just a little bit. And I've solved at least some issues with the energy shield regeneration. So, how did I do it? Um, let's check the rings first. I've crafted this one with triple resistances. Just the basic one with triple resistances and mana. And this one with triple resistances as well. And spell damage. This one needs improving, but this is what I have now. Uh, I've bought Eternity today, and then I actually rolled it in the cube as well. So, yeah, I will be selling this once I get enough. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, those are the gear changes. What I changed on the slates, I've bought a new slate with play, with play safe. And you want to get either play safe or uh, barrier of radiance and that will solve a huge portion of your survivability issues because we have the note this one immediately starts energy shield charge upon entering low energy shield status which is below 35% energy shield your energy shield start charging and this big trade just makes it to not stop for 4 seconds. So you have 4 seconds of full charge of your energy shield. Which is great. And then once you, once you drop to 35% again, it starts charging again. So yeah, this is awesome. So that's what I've been testing for the last hour and it works. So that's at least something. So yeah, that's the slide. What else did I change? I have 
the new wand, but that was already in the planner, so you could have seen that there. I've bought it for 300 FE. And that's pretty much it. The build now has around 16 billion DPS. If I if I'm not mistaken, let's check it. I'm swapping the amulet for single target damage. <coughs> And this is with loot pets. And it's higher in maps because you get stacked with the eternity buffs. So yeah, it gets higher. And if I swap to damage pets. Well, yeah, so 10 billion here. I had 16. I have screenshots somewhere. Um, I had this yesterday or today. I had this before I got the wand, the wand. So yeah. Uh, and I changed one more thing, yeah, skills. I've changed, I've slotted in peri periodic burst to Path of Flames to proc the 30% attack speed and cast speed. I've put in rhythm with Pain Amp and Well Fought Battle just to keep that, keep this buff going, like, and it never stops. I've put mass effect to my speed phantom to increase its effect and to also give it one more charge because I mainly use it to get from pack to pack so free charges help with that when I then stay and fight the packs for a bit so the charges have, have time to uh, recharge and with the gear changes uh, I don't have enough life now but if I swap to eternity I have enough life to have the spirit uh, reserved on life and I'm still on uh, above uh, low life so that's what I do for maps so that might be even the reason why I do not have the damage because, yeah, let's see. Because I'm not above low life and I don't have elemental damage aura from the belt when I'm not at, when I'm not above low life. Let's see. I should be above low life now. Yes, 41%. So let's see. Simple change. Simple change in uh, in uh, um, slates would solve this issue with swapping auras. Just I would just have to get a little bit more seal reservation, sealed mana mods. And that's pretty much it. So will I ramp up enough to see 12 bill, maybe? I guess I won't, yeah. Whatever.
So this is the build for now. I'm updating the builder almost all the time when I do any change in my build so that should be up to date. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.